So my name's Doug from, from Run the Alps, and we happen to have a, a guest here that some of you might know, David Laney. <laughs> no. <laughs> Minus the mustache. Tim, Tim Tolson. And he was just going through his pack yesterday, and it pretty much blew me away by how light it was. He's running UTMB um, in a couple of days, of course. So I just thought it'd be really cool for us to go through together Tim's pack, for Tim to go through it, and just show how he gets his UTMB pack so incredibly light. Yeah, I think a big thing is working with Hoka's uh, innovation team to kind of design some custom pieces for us uh, that are packable, that are light, but also functional. It has to meet the requirements so that it actually is functioning if in case you do need it. Right. But um, so, yeah, I guess uh, starting out, the, the most critical pieces are, um, you know, the space blanket and the uh, elastic bandage mm -hmm. um, that you're, you have to carry. So I'll carry those in my buff on kind of this outside pocket. Um, and those are just kind of your standard pieces. Yeah. Um, and the biggest thing in my pack actually is the 180 gram weight mid layer and so this is mine it it uh comes in right at 180 grams and it has a hood on it uh long sleeve it's very warm and comfortable and stretchable mm -hmm. so I, I like it but uh, it, it's kind of the bulkiest piece and i think there's no way around that right um but so that's kind of that's that piece okay. um then we have uh the waterproof pants um that uh they they've designed for us that are pretty incredible that uh i think these are 83 grams these are incredibly um, light I, I picked these up the other day and yeah was, it kind of blew me away yeah. and i leave them unzipped so that if i actually need it you slide it on the way on and then you can zip it down so you don't have to mm -hmm. take your shoes off which is kind of a very convenient thing so right. waterproof pants um and then uh, I have uh, another pair of leggings that uh, also happen to be waterproof, but full length um, cover your legs as the requirement. Some okay. people do socks and half tights or right. you know compression stockings. I like to just have a full another trouser in there. Okay. Um, so that's my second one. Okay. So um, that's if we have a storm like last year over Grand Call Foray, you have both those on. I well, I actually didn't use them at all. Okay. No, I use my waterproof jacket, but it's a, a waterproof jacket that. Uh, um, has all everything kind of taped and seamed, but comes in at maybe a hundred grams or so. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, with the attached hood, which is a big requirement here, you, right. you have to have the attached hood. You can't be altering with your own stuff. But um, so, so that's the waterproof jacket. And then um, you have to have the minimum of one liter uh, carrying capacity, unless okay. they change the hot year. So I do bottles on the front. Okay. Um, on my front pouches. Yeah, you're not stopping at aid stations to uh, get your bladder filled. No, up. no the bladder doesn't work <laughs> you really well. You gotta keep moving a little yeah. faster than all so, the rest of us. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, so I, I have the two bottles. I've done some soft flasks, and I, I alter. Sometimes I'll have two hard bottles. Sometimes I'll have soft flasks. Uh -huh. um, and then in my front pouches, I also do my food stuff. I often like Stroop Waffles. Okay. Uh, one of my sponsors, Goo. I, I work with them. Um, mm -hmm. So that one's really. Wait, um, that's going to get you all the way around UTMB? No. no, no. <laughs> okay. One, so one waffle. One, one, we'll, we'll get 4, you to the first aid station. Okay. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, so I'll pack a bunch of those in here. Um, okay. And also, I do liquid calories. So my bottles are full of Roctane, which okay. is a drink powdered mix, 250 calories per 20 ounces. Okay, so you're so, getting your calories that way yep, also. That's yeah. not something I usually think of. Yeah, you know, I like so. to drink the calories. It, it just goes okay. in easy and, and you digest it. Uh -huh. Then I have my gloves. Um, there, there's warm and waterproof gloves. So, mm -hmm. and I'm always confused on what. But so we have right. we have the warm pair that I um, that I keep in here, and then on the other side I have my my waterproof gloves, um, okay. which are just kind of a very thin. They're probably six grams, very light, um, uh -huh. but uh, that go over the top. Right. Um, and then. You have to have a personal beaker, so I keep that in the front in case you mm -hmm. need, you know, water from an aid station or Coke. Um, and then the final piece is whistle. You have to have the yes, whistle on the back. Yes, you got the whistle. Um, right. mm -hmm. But uh, I have my my cell phone, my ID, and uh, headlamps yes. with extra batteries. So inside here, I have my cell phone okay. that uh, was uh, with an international plan. It, okay. uh, it's not a smartphone, so I can't you know, upload my Instagram photos while you're running. You're not gonna be going through all your apps when no. you're running? No, okay. and then I got two, two headlamps, um, all the backup batteries for them, and then my okay. ID card. Um, and I, I do, during the night, use a big headlamp as well. I was well. just gonna ask that, because I mean, that's not a legit 
you know, I mean, it qualifies certainly by the standards, but yeah. I can't imagine. Have you, you ever run with one? You can. You yeah, can they're, the trail. they're not bad. Actually, no, they're pretty good. Yeah, but I, like I can't them. imagine running all night with one. Yeah. Uh, by choice. <laughs> yeah. So I, I do use a big Petzl, um, the uh, Reactic headlamp. Okay. So. Okay. Um, but so that is, uh, I believe, everything that was in my my pack. And so yeah. Have you weighed? You know, I haven't weighed it, whole, whole so I'm not here. sure what it would come in at. But uh, I guess for Achilles, I'd be cutting the tag off here as well. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Right. But uh, like for me, the weight isn't as big of a concern as the packability. Yeah, that's what you said. I don't want the yesterday. volume because yeah. it bounces around. I'm I'm not like this the the tiniest lightest runner, so a few extra grams or ounces here or there don't even bother me. Uh -huh. um, but uh -huh. uh, it's more I want it to pack and not move on my back on my back, and this uh -huh. formation seems to work. Okay. So, and um, totally unrelated question, but I have to ask because it, it always comes up with our guests on, on trips. Poles or no poles? The great European <laughs> trail running question. I, I go poles. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah. And, uh -huh. uh, and I just find that it helps later in the stage. Yeah. You know, when your legs are really fatigued and you're, you're having a tough time, it helps you stabilize when the muscles are pretty, pretty worn down. Uh -huh. but, uh, and this pack doesn't have a fashion a fashioning system for poles, so I will end up carrying them. Right. My, my last year's pack did, and I had a quiver, um, and, but they unfortunately didn't make it with this one. So I thought about maybe sewing this on, but I'm not much of a seamstress. <laughs> yeah, so okay. If I, if I'll I have to wait till next yeah, year. Experiment, but so, uh, okay. yeah. Hey Tim, thanks a lot. Ah, this is really cool. Yeah. Now, do you mind if I take like a 20 pound rock and put and it put in, it in <laughs> the back? <laughs>